let Snowy out, and she turns around and barks at me through the glass. Okay, I'm recording. What's going on, Aquarius? Here we go. It is Rachel Stubbins Navy, a.k.a. Villaggio Strega, here with your April monthly reading. I've got a little caffeine in me. I'm feeling good. I shouldn't be drinking that coffee, though. Oh, my gosh. Set off my inflammation yet. It's good for the liver, so why not? Got to be balanced somewhere. Moderation is the key. Okay, Aquarius. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. Will not resonate for everyone. So take what does, of course, and leave the rest. Are you really coming out like that? No. Okay. Didn't think so. And um, do it Celtic Cross style. I'm going to stop after the first six, review that message, see what's going on. The, the bottom five of the deck here, Aquarius. you got two major arcanas straight out of the gate here, too, Aquarius. Let me just bump that back a little bit. Maybe some of you can see what's going on a little bit better, or at least I'll try. Uh, as to what's going on. Hmm. Now, that's an interesting position to be. Okay. Better communication. Got it. Okay. So we got the magician card energy as your subject matter, the moon card energy as your challenge, five of wands as your goal or destiny with the situation, king of wands with your distant past, page of swords with your most recent past, and your near future will be available in just a moment. <laughs> As it were. If you got a challenge or situation in your life here, Aquarius or cross, cross watchers, wow, Rachel, get it together. Cross watchers that you'd like more guidance and support on, by all means, reach out to me. All my information is either linked in the description below the about section of my, my channel. I'm telling you, my spirit's got, it's got a crazy sense of humor today, um, as it is. And, um, you know, I like doing personal readings actually more so than general readings because then we're really fine tuning things. Then it really is a personal message. So I keep them affordable. Uh, but all that information is there for you to pick up as you want to. Uh, okay, so Aquarius, yeah, you want to manifest something. You've got all the knowledge, the wisdom, the tools you need to do it. Here is your opportunity. You're like the fool's energy here uh, that says, okay, now that I've got all, now that I've obtained all this, I'm ready to have a rebirth here. I'm ready to have some sort of uh, mastery of something. I am manifesting what it is that I desire, I wish to have. But there may be something you don't know underneath the surface of things, or maybe you kind of do, Aquarius. This is, the moon energy is kind of like, I kind of know, but I'm not really sure. So it's going to have to be illuminated, right? It's going to have to come out in the dark. Maybe there's an enemy involved. Maybe there's some sort of secret or situation where before you cross through those gates there, before you move forward, you need to know about this. That's why it's a challenge in your manifestation is because there's something you're unaware of. Something on the unconscious level. It's going to make itself known. It's going to come out. And it might cause conflict. Uh, not that you want a conflict, because this is your goal card, right? But this kind of conflict, this little locker room spat, as it were, is everyday kind of like little conflict going on, uh, is in your goal and destiny's position. But it's indicating that something is not communicated right. And it is definitely relating to something of this secret. Pisces energy, by the way, uh, is the energy of the moon card. Pisces, sometimes Cancer, sometimes sometimes it's got a kind of like duality. They're both water signs, though. Um, so uh, this Aquarius, um, for some of you, there's a conflict that is derived from communication. So why is it in your goal and destiny spot? Like, why is this quarrelsome act in your goals and destiny? Because you want more communication. You want better communication because you want an argument to end right? You want a conflict or a dispute to resolve. That is why this is sitting here in this position for you all. Now, you just in past, well, you took some leadership on something. You said, okay, I'm going to transform this energy. This is going to be a rebirth. I'm putting this into plan into action. Now I'm strategizing things. Love the King of Wands energy. He's, he's very honorable. He is, he's a married usually married, usually over the age of 35 if you're dealing with an individual like that. Really, yes, he's a father figure, 
uh, grandfather figure, uh, but he's one of action. Like he's always busy doing something. He's he and he's like a phoenix. He may have some Leo energy in there too. Leo Sagittarius, uh, Leo Sagittarius or Aries kind of energy to him, but typically more of the Leo energy. So it could be your time stamp on things too as to when this was occurring. That you Aquarius chose some sort of action to take. You came up with a plan, or, or maybe the queen did, uh, came up with a plan, you put it into action, you transformed something, you became a leader of sorts, all right? Transformation, you know, salamanders are very much like a phoenix too, because in the, the medieval times, the salamander symbolized um, an ability to kind of like walk through the fires without getting burned because of their wet skin, but that wasn't always true, they died, let's be honest. Okay, uh, more recent past here, Aquarius. You've got the Page of Swords energy. So Page of Swords, this guy's thinking about things. He's thinking, thinking, thinking. He's coming up ideas, coming up with plans, new plans at that because he's a new energy because he is a page. So he's representing both youthfulness and contemplation, right? He's looking at the future. This is him like, okay, what's out there? Where, where am I going? What am I planning on now? What's my next idea? Right? That's what he's he's doing. And he can draw up his sword rather quickly to take that action. So he's contemplating things. Uh, in your near future here, Aquarius, you could be dealing with a Libra or an end of a karmic cycle. Uh, this is the justice card energy. So it's an unavoidable justice being served, whether it's karmically or otherwise. Uh, could be dealing with a legal situation, attorneys, uh, judgments, etc. Uh, but for the most part, what happens with this end of a karmic cycle is it restores the balance and things. It brings things back into balance for you. Again, time stamp for the mid month uh, is uh, no. I'm feeling this is more early month actually within the first two weeks of April here that this this new cycle is about to begin. But you were thinking about it anyway. So you're like kind of like, okay, I'm manifesting it coming. But there's something you don't know about it. Regardless, it's gonna it's gonna restore the balance. All that communication is gonna get cleared up and you're gonna restore it to balance. Okay, your attitude about it is the two of wands. Okay, which one wants to come out? Queen of Swords is your external environment. Is choice card going with external environment? Yes or no? Or is it going into inner emotions? Inner emotions. No, external environment with that one. Okay. It's so two cards out for the external environment. You've got the lover's card energy and queen of swords. Very interesting there. Aquarius got hanged man energy for your inner, inner emotions. Mm -hmm. One more, please. Whew, that's a lot. That's a lot. You flip first. Okay, seven of coins. Seven of pentacles energy. We got three more. Yes or no? Yes. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, I got to take them all. Bottom of the deck, we've got six of cups energy. Okay, just give me a moment here with this one. Place them all down for you. I'm not kidding. That's your potential outcome. Wow. Wowza. Okay, here's your attitude. You're looking at things like what can I attain and what are my resources? What do I control in my lane, uh, in my domain? As I'm looking to the future, I'm looking to like this, this globe she's holding here. That's her domain. That's what she can control. That's what she can master, what she can manifest in within her means, within her realm. She's got the one hand on this wand here. That's where she wants to go. That's that action she wants to take. Versus this one chained to the wall or tied to the wall over here, which is her backup, her resources. Now, if this is a relationship situation, which I don't feel it really is, but there's definitely some, some relationship issues within it. Uh, this is not a union. So this is not a meeting of the minds is your attitude. It's kind of like my way or no way energy or I'm doing this for myself, Aquarius says. In your external environment, what's influencing this situation here with your manifestation and that secret is you've got the Queen of Swords energy and the Lover's card. So let's start with her. We know the Queen of Swords has a lot of wisdom to her, but she can be very cold-tempered at times. She's a lot of tough love energy. Could be a, a feminine energy over the age of 35 for sure, um, but it doesn't have to be. 
She's very intelligent, very keen, articulates well, very well intended with her thoughts. But because she's a tough love energy, she doesn't mince words and she doesn't waste time and she's no BS. Like she's 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 not into games. No, no. And you better be serious when you talk to her too, because when she opens up, when she softens herself, if you take advantage of that boy, it's a whole world of hurt uh, when she finds out. Your lover's card energy here, three external influences, signifies a profound decision you must make. And it might be something in relating to um, your soulmate energy, your twin flame connections here. Uh, while she has the stance of uh, no lip service, and you know this is how it really is this card says signifies okay there externally you may have to make a decision um whether it's influenced by this individual or not, or whether you're dealing with this influ uh, individual or not, it's up to your situation here, Aquarius. But uh, profound decision making, as it is, and often a soulmate connection is involved with it, a partnership, as it were. What's your inner emotions? You feel stuck. <laughs> you feel stuck because spirit is the driving force behind it. This is the hanged man energy, it is your spiritual awakening, uh, as it were. And it is your opportunity because you can't do anything else. Uh, it's also Neptune energy, which is why it's spiritual awakening. Spiritual energy is the Neptune. And you can't do anything else because your hands are tied behind your back because there's no forward movement at, at the time on what it is that you want to manifest. And yes, it is because of the external influences, that secret that's revealed, and perhaps that Queen of Swords energy herself. So while you're having this moment of enlightenment, right, while you can't do anything else, it's your time to think. It's your time, Aquarius, to change your perception, as it were, because you're being illuminated to something. You're seeing the secret is coming to light. So it's now time to start considering those decisions, right? And what it is, yes, you control what's in within your domain, may change because of the spiritual awakening you're having, dear Aquarius. Your potential outcome. Okay, so we started, the first card one was the Seven of Pentacles. That's you maintaining status quo, your stability, your finance. That's you doing the, the daily grind, the nine to five. Nothing fancy about it. It's just like, okay, I do this because it's constant and it's true. It's very Taurus energy, energy with that. Does the same thing day after day in order to have that stability uh, in their life. It may not be a ton of finance, but it's finance nonetheless. You're, <clears throat> pardon me. This went like this. You're potentially after um, some sort of stable, secure foundation, Aquarius, with this Four of Pentacles energy. Uh, Four of Pentacles, while it may be greedy or seem miserly at times, uh, this is really just someone who's afraid to let go and kind of go with the flow of things. They want to save, 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 but what they don't recognize is in all their saving and all their like miserliness, the, it sends the universe the message that they don't need help. Or that there's no opportunities for them because they're so hyper-focused on what they need to hang on to that they're not letting go of that energy to have some fun, to enjoy life a little bit more. So your situation, your secret may revolve around something that has to do with your finance or your uh, ability to go with the flow here. There is going to be messages, of course, coming in really fast for you this month at some point, and I'm feeling like more towards the end of the month uh, with this particular card's energy here, Aquarius, because it's eight of, eight of Wands. This is when things are changing. This is when you're starting to, to slowly emerge out of this situation, the hangman energy with that spiritual awakening and it's going to be like boom 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 and it catches you off guard you can also have something to do again with a secret coming out here uh, for many of you as you're trying to manifest and look towards the future but catches you off guard you've got to respond to it but you've got to gain a new position you've got to have a new perspective before you answer to it uh lastly in, in your potential outcome is the six of wands energy now this is somebody who takes a risk right they go into battle they 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 do a little you know precursor argument and and communicating about it but then they go and they take the risk they drag a few with them and then they come back very luckily 
and, and happily successful. Why? Because they believed in themselves, they believed in their cause, and they had the advantage in a situation. So this is your energy of being a victor of sorts and humbly accepting this laurel wreath here, uh, this celebration, this completion of a cycle, as it were, too, uh, where you are the victor, uh, but you're celebrating not just for yourself, but for everyone. Now, Aquarius, Six of Cups is on the bottom. We know this is childlike nostalgia. Uh, this could be returning friendships from the past, returning someone from the past, or memories of the past pertaining to the past, or even children uh, in relation to <clears throat> April's energy, pardon me, as it were. You may find... Um, that memories of the past are really a prominent th theme here in the month of April. <clears throat> Pardon me. And then, again, balancing those decisions is out to a pentacles energy. How does your money, your finance, your time, how do you spend all that while you're dealing with all this emotional stuff in the background? And those seas are really choppy. <clears throat> the boats that, you know, while they're they're intended to be secure. They're really not because of those choppy seas there. So how do you manage all of that? Uh, it's also going to come up this April. Lots of twos, lots of choices to be made here in the month of April. But focus more on those major arcanas because they're the most important messages of, of any and your entire reading. But Two of Pentacles represents a couple who's seen this share of trials and tribulations. Again, we got that Mercury energy, which is about communication and thinking. I got a feeling if some of you are in a partnership, a lot of you partnered up, Aquarius is, there's going to be like some conflict within the relationship this month. Maybe it's something you want to do as a result of a spiritual awakening, or maybe it's something <clears throat> that's emerging coming to light within the relationship definitely karma is going to karma is going to come to into play here uh, but it's going to restore the balance as things are communicated and this couple grows stronger together um this is soulmate energy much like your much like your lover's card energy this is union this is twin flame energy they often are the ones with the hardest lessons though so keep that in mind uh your third fourth card out here is the nine of wands Boy, this is someone who's wondering and waiting, wondering and waiting. They're exhausted, though. This is that little reprieve you give yourself or you take before you continue on a, on a battle or a journey, right? There's action that needs to be taken here. But it's just a moment of pause and reflection to kind of like recover from exhaustion. Some of you may be very tired here towards the middle of the month um for whatever reason it could be out of this conflict arises out of this conflict of sorts here and within your karmic cycle uh for some of you aquariuses but you're recovering recovering from it you're wondering you're waited you you're taking the chance to catch your breath and then you're coming back stronger and more perse perseverant as a result you're determined to succeed and indeed where's that where is that six of wands? Indeed you are. Now well, it's here somewhere. Indeed you are. Determined in it all. Okay. And lastly, some of you are indeed healing from heartbreak, grief, or sorrow. The three of wands is, three of swords is out. This is sometimes um, a third party relationship. Again, secrets are coming out. Karma's being dealt. So some of you may be confronting either a situation uh, where a third party relationship was involved or moving forward from it uh, is another way to look at it. And like I said, you're going through a spiritual awakening. And with spiritual awakenings, it's kind of like when all the cards, for lack of a better phrase, are laid out on the table. And you're speaking your truth. You're you're not wanting to hurt anybody, Aquarius. Aquarius never does. They always want to do what's best for everyone in a situation. And you can trust that they will do that. Uh, but long of the short, Aquarius, it's almost like a, a moment of, of reckoning uh, within yourself and within your environment as you're healing. It's, it's actually a forward movement of healing. Now, again, you want to manifest something. You want something to come to fruition here. But the secret has to be dealt with first. So if you're in, you've been in a third-party relationship, that's definitely coming out in the month of April. Um, or if there's something else, like something physically or something materially that you're dealing with, um, again, you're, you're tired 
Uh, there may be a lot of hurt involved, but you're letting go of those things that, that were self-harming you. You're letting go of relationships. You're letting go of, of um, situations that were not for your highest good. So that way you can catch your breath and you can, like I said, you're making choices here. Um, you can let go of these things. You'll do what you have to do to maintain status quo along the way. But those messages are all coming in and you're making plans anyways towards the future here. But the problem is the spirit says, okay, you got to stop for a moment here, uh, my friend Aquarius, because... There's some other stuff I want you to know. I know you want to manifest. That's your goal and it all. But I need to bring things back into balance here. Uh, there's going to be a choice you're going to need to make. You know, it's dealing with your soulmate. Um, I know it's hard for you to let go at times and go with the flow. But this is about your foundation. This is about your stableness, your security. And while I don't really want to have conflict in this situation, I know you took a role and you made plans uh, for your future, things are just going to change a little bit because why the secret's coming out. you got to use your intuition on it, Aquarius. And, and, and it, let's be realistic here. Uh, Two Wands is also about being realistic in a situation because you want to be careful as you're dealing with this Queen's energy that um, you're not wasting time with anything and you're being very wise about your decisions. And it may be a tough choice to make. It may be a heartfelt choice to make, one that you don't want to face the consequences of, but you will nonetheless. And as you do so, you will, of course, be victorious. All right. Here we go. Let's clarify this up, Aquarius, with three more cards. See what else we need to know for Aquarius on the collective, please. Clarify Aquarius' reading, please. Beautiful. Got the devil card energy. Eight of Swords energy. And the sunshine. Awesome, 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 Aquarius. Let's start with this devil card energy. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, right? Uh, devil card energy is actually about determination. It's about uh, how do I utilize things? Uh, perseverance is also the devil card's energy. As much as it is letting go of self-limiting beliefs, and that sure is here, Aquarius. You have the Eight of Swords right next to it. Eight of Swords is when you feel stuck in a situation. While you may want to manifest, uh, you may also be dealing with like some some temptations. Remember, karma was out as well, ending of a karmic cycle. So facing that justice to bring things back into balance may mean you letting go both of your self-limiting thoughts or those things, those materialistic things, the spending habits, the alcoholism, the drug abuse, the sex, things like that of that nature. That throw off your equilibrium. That's why you're in hanged man stance for a little while and you can't have any forward movement until you have that spiritual enlightenment and until you let go of those thoughts that say, I can't get over this. I keep ruminating about this. Um, I feel as though I, I want to manifest, but I can't fully manifest because I still have this stuck energy. I'm self-limiting. So I must turn it around. I've got to figure out how do I utilize things. That's a two of wands energy too. How do I use a lot, utilize what I've learned about myself, what I've learned um, about my environment, about the decisions I make, especially here, Aquarius. So that way I can bring out this sunshine in my life, right? Because that's what we all want. We all want this sunshine energy. We all want vitality. And look, it's a rabbit for Easter. Um, <laughs> we all want merriment. We all want joy and abundance. And that's really what this, this card represents. So the more you let go of Aquarius, this self-limiting, self-defeating energy, the more abundance that comes into your life. Now, granted, yeah, that Queen of Swords out is an ex external influence. So there may be someone who kind of like rains on your parade from time to time. They may be your soulmate. Truly, they may be a twin flame energy because you guys have seen your share of trials and tribulations, right? And those come with the hardest lessons. But is it time to let that someone go or draw them closer? The choice is yours. Like what's self-limiting about it all? Where does the temptation come from? What's your inner light? Remember, you got to change your perspective this month so you can achieve this, so you can have all that joy and abundance in your life. Okay. 
Let's see what else Spirit wants you to know through the oracles. We know these are guided messages from, from other energies. So, Aquarius, what else does Spirit want you to know? Get the bull or gull. Wow, never even seen the gull card before. It's interesting. Okay, let's let's talk it out. Go. Water, creation, emotions. Isn't that Aquarius energy as it is? Wow. The gull, a creature of the sea and sky, symbolically links the lower earthly world with the upper world of spirit. It is a symbol of unrestrained motion. In a Northwest Native American legend, angry gull kills a raven, one of the most powerful totems that had invaded the gull's beach. A great war between ravens and gulls for dominion or domain of the beach ensues. In the end, the gull is subdued and the two birds share power over the shore. This is that duality. This is that Queen of Swords, Two of Cups kind of energy coming out. Uh, in other words, teamwork. There needs to be two involved in decision making. In the painting, the gull appears along with the nautilus mollusk. And the image of Amphritite? Amph huh. I think it's supposed to be Aphrodite. But Amph Amphrodite? Amphrodite? The Greek sea goddess who governs the emotions. The gull, nautilus, and the goddess are associated with water, the primordial element of the creation of life. Indeed, we are all primarily water. But, um, hmm, I'm going to have to look into her because I think Aphrodite, I think Venus. So I've never heard her name before, and I'm a mythology buff, so I don't know. Maybe not so much Greek myth, but I'm a mythology buff as it is. Anyways, water emotions, creations... You're all going to get stirred up for you this month here, Aquarius. And that is the Animal Spirit deck for those that are interested. Let's see what else the Goddess Guidance Oracle cards have to say for my Aquariuses on the collective. Sorceress Rihanna. It says, you are a magical person who can manifest, there it is again, your clear intentions into reality. Aquarius, what is it that you want? That's really the question this month. But bear in mind, some things are going to be revealed that may change the course of what it is you really want. Hey guys, let me know if you like, and don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment below. I'm wishing you all the best. Blessed be, and uh, happy Easter, of course. For those of you that celebrate, or however you celebrate, I should say. And uh, feel free to leave me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And all my information is at the link below in the description of the About section of the channel. Take care, all.